It's not all that unusual to see a beautifully restored 67 big block Corvette flexing its muscle in a pastoral country setting on a sunny day. Just looking at this one, the location could be almost anywhere in the United States. Yet it's not in the United States, it's in Holland. Andre Bohr is behind the wheel, and he is a dyed-in-the-wool Corvette fan and collector of the original American sports car. But his collection of Corvettes is in a little village about 60 miles from Amsterdam. We know sure uh, all the clubs, all the Corvette clubs that have been in Europe, nobody has a bigger collection than we have here. Well, that's easy to believe. The collection, located in the small Dutch village of Wiesep, numbers at least a hundred Corvettes, all displayed in generational groupings, starting with the C1s and pushing forward through the C6s. And like most of us, Andre started with one Corvette more than 20 years ago, and one thing led to another. You bought one Corvette, and then you think, okay, I have one. And one month later, somebody say, okay, I have a big block, a 74 with a 454 engine in it. I think that's the Corvette, I will have that. I bought that Corvette one month later. Uh, right, Andre, we know the drill. Who can resist? Andre Bohr and his three sons are Corvette guys through and through. They not only collect, live, and breathe Corvettes, they work on Corvettes brought to them for repair from all over Europe. Andre's affinity for vets started simply enough, more than 20 years ago, when he opened a magazine. I saw a picture of the Marco Shark too, and I thought, wow, that is a nice car. With a big engine in it, a 7 liter, 427 cubic inch was it, and I think that car is uh, what I will have in the, in the future. But what I did not know, it was a prototype car. But uh, luckily, they came also the C3 Corvette, and yeah, that is what you're seeing here. And there's a lot more of what you don't see in several warehouses nearby. Dozens of wrecked and partially restored Corvettes fight for space, along with an expansive collection of spare parts, wheels, and Corvette accessories. The Bohr family truly is a Corvette family. Andre's three sons, Michael, Martin, and Johan, can usually be found with their collective heads under the hood of a Corvette. We pair uh, Corvettes here in the Netherlands. Uh, my oldest son, Johan, is about 10 years with us uh, in, in our shop. And my second son, Martin, about five years. And all of three of us, we working all day on Corvettes. We uh, repair Corvettes, we make Corvettes ready for our own collection. And sometimes we have uh, double uh, models, then we sell also with Corvettes. The ones they don't sell are what makes up this incredible corral of Corvettes in a place far away from Corvettes' beginnings. Andre Bohr loves them all, but admits, when pressed, he has a favorite generation. The favorites are the mid-years, the 63 to 67. That are my favorite Corvettes. And the star of his Corvettes from the brand's shortest generation is a 67 Roadster, a multiple award winner and the first big block he ever acquired. It is the most valuable car. It is a very special uh, combination. Uh, the car is black with a red stinger, red interior, F41 suspension. It had original aluminum wheels on it, the side or exhaust, the hardtop, everything. The car had running uh, 34,000 miles on it. Another favorite is a yellow C6 Z06, one of the first imported to Europe. It's officially a pre-production car. It is the first C06 that is made with the Euro specs on it. It was the fourth C06 from the production line. The car is specially fly over in May 2005 to represent uh, the Corvettes on Le Mans. So, with a staggering collection representing multiple entries of each of the first six generations of Corvette, 
What more could Andre possibly want that he doesn't have? Well, there is that decidedly non-muscle but iconic first-year Corvette that has eluded him so far. Maybe in the future, sometimes we pick up a 1953 Corvette. I suspect we can consider it done, Andre. Oh, and by the way, while our cameras were on site in Holland, an expansion of the museum was underway, and we're pleased to report the new look is being enjoyed daily by visitors to the Boer Collection. Corvette repair, history, and preservation is alive and well in Europe, thanks to Andre Boer and Son.